before you even start to prospect for gold, you need to get yourself a miner's right. Some people mistakenly call it a prospecting license, or even a metal detecting license, but neither of those licenses exists. You need to get a miner's right. Okay, so I need a miner's right. Where do I get one from? All miners' rights in Western Australia are issued by the state's Department of Mines, Industry Regulation and Safety, DMIRS. This is the new name for the old mines department, which until recently was called the Department of Mines and Petroleum. A miner's right is relatively cheap to get, costing approximately $26 at time of writing and, it does last a lifetime. So no need for ongoing renewals. To get a miner's right, simply pop into a DMIRS office. Prove who you are and they will issue you with a license on the spot. When I got mine, I visited the Mrs. office in East Perth, Mineral House, 100 Plain Street, East Perth, where I had to show my current driver's license as evidence of who I was, and I was issued with a miner's right immediately. The whole process took about 10 to 15 minutes. So what does the miner's right entitle you to? Anyone with a valid miner's right can carry out the following activities on Crown land that is not the subject of a mining tenement. 1. Can prospect for minerals, including gold. 2. Can conduct geological mapping and tests for minerals. 3. Can undertake limited sampling using handheld equipment and to remove samples up to 20 kilograms. 4. Can mark out mining tenements. 5. Can fossic for rocks and gemstones. 6. Can take water and camp for the purposes of prospecting. But note, a miner's rights does not give you any permissions or entitlements to carry out any of the above activities on private land. If you want to prospect on private land, you will have to have a right to enter permit and also contact the landholder, and get their permission to 1. Get access to their land. 2. Actually prospect on their land. 3. Camp or stay on their land. But do remember, having a miner's right does not give you permission to access or prospect on any private land only on crown land that is current not the subject of a current mining lease. If you want to prospect on someone else's ground, then it's up to you to organize and have received the permission in writing long before you arrive on the land. Don't just turn up and expect to be given permission, you won't get it. Now that you know how to get a miner's right, get down to your local DMIS mine registrar's office and get yourself a miner's right.